Who's there? I am Hannibal from Waterland, and I have come to ask you a favor. Wait a minute. Uh. Huh? How did you find me, then? Well, you're pretty famous, so we can find you even in a foreign country. It costs us a lot of money, though. Famous, eh? Now, tell me what you want. Our request is as follows. We would like you, as soon as possible, to get hold of the chemical formula for Professor Boffin's fuel that can replace petrol. Professor Boffin? Yes, I don't have very fond memories of that gentleman. No. We can't make a mess of it this time. I don't ever make the same mistake twice. We're sure you don't. That's why I have come all this way. You see, that's nice of you, but I don't want to get into that business anymore. I just want to relax in this country and spend my life playing roulette. You owe a lot of money to the casino, don't you? <laughs> you can expect a very big reward for doing this job, Mr. Dolph. Well, sounds like an offer I can't refuse. That's fine. By the way, Mr. Dolph, that guy is helping Professor Boffin with the search. That guy? Yes, that guy. You know him well. Oh, I can almost have five a day to gobble the mornings. Not only does it have to be as powerful as petrol, but it has to be economical as well. Yes, the electric and powered car is pollution free, but it's expensive now, and the battery is very heavy, so it's also got its problems. No wonder the professor's new fuel is so important. And we're finally able to test drive a car with a new fuel. Huh? Hmm. Are we nearly there? Not very far now. Oh, look at that sky. <sighs> ah! If there are no mechanical problems after you put the car to its test, then I want you to leave it as far as it is for a couple of days, okay? Then yeah? you'll examine the exhaust gases. Well, in fact, I already checked the gases in the lab. But yeah, we'll check it again. If anything is found that can cause any form of pollution, the steward mm -hmm. is nerfing the mm -hmm. junk. It's filled up. Anything else? No, no, I'll turn the test equipment on myself. Thank you. Mm. Uh, Alfred, do I... Mm, uh, <laughs> What's wrong with you, Dad? Are you scared, then? No, 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 no. But I just wonder why my presence in the car is so important. Well, I'm going to be driving this car through a number of tests. Look, here's a list of them. Hmm? I'll drive at different mm -hmm. speeds. Make sudden mm -hmm. stops and starts, mm -hmm. reverse, everything any driver would do during normal driving. It's all on the list. I see. It's nothing to be scared of. All you have to do is report to me on how you felt during the drive. So there's nothing for me to worry about. Of course not. Right. It's ready now, Alfred. Get in the car, and you too, Hank. Right. That's some performance, eh? Go up to 80 miles an hour. Right, we'll do 80. Oh, shall we? Anything wrong? Oh, no, nothing. Okay, let's go. Powered by a new fuel, it's no wonder Crocodile is in a panic. Because if you can buy it at a reasonable price, well. 
Don't fear. Have I found the formula? No, it's not in his house nor his lab neither. No, it might be there. Okay, leave it to me. <laughs> Are you all right, Dad? Yeah, I'm okay. Now, a sudden start. So are you testing the fuel, aren't they? Then test everything any driver might do, good or bad. And if there's no problem, there's nothing wrong with the fuel. Oh, really? What is it? I think I saw someone just come out of your spaceship, Professor. I don't see anybody, really. He came out and disappeared round the back. But I came here alone. They can't see anybody else. Well, did you lock the hatch, Professor? No, I never locked the hatch. Ah, look there. Oh, no, I've left the chemical formula for the fuel in there. Oh, my. You what? Alfred, Alfred, it's an emergency. I think the papers with the chemical formula have been stolen. I left them behind on the station. Stolen? Ah. I'm not sure yet, but we saw someone sneaking out of the spaceship and running away. Alfred, get off of him, please! Ah! That's him! But my papers have been taken. Oh, my. Okay, I'll catch him. Oh, Alfred, Alfred. Wait! Stop! Open! Stop! Stop! You'll have to go fast to get me, Alfred Jonathan Quack. <laughs> It's a real big one. Professor. I see. Everything's clear now. Can you hear me, Alfred? That man was just going into Crocodile's house. <laughs> so now I think I'll be getting along, if you don't mind. Right you are, Joe. Thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can call me any time at all. It's no problem. Yeah. Yeah, it's the end for you, Dolph. The police have got the whole house surrounded. That's what you think. No, you should never have come back to this country. You shut up! Why must you interfere? You came close to causing another disaster here. Give me back those papers, crocodile. You have no business charging it to my house. Well, I didn't want to come here, but I had to. I had no choice. 
You two hired dogs to steal those papers from Professor Boffin. Now give them back, please. Oh, yes, it's all so very good. Is Professor Boffin tree selling well? It certainly is, and no more trees will be killed off by car exhaust here. Glad to hear. And me too. Let's go over to the lake, Winnie. Wait for me, Alfred. Wait for me. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Alfred is so merry, so very, very merry. He's even bright and cheerful when things are going wrong. Whenever he's downhearted, 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 the feelings never with him for very, very long. Young Alfred is quite sporty, he likes to be quite sporty. He's very much like Eddie, a normal, lively lad. Sometimes he can be naughty, but even when he's naughty, you'll find he's never, never, ever really bad. We're glad that you've been with us and heard our refrain. We hope you come along soon and join us again.